Hello you sugar-free pubic chews, Jim Sterling here and this is The Turkey of Christmas Past. This game has been recommended to me a fair bit and the reviews are very positive, although the reviews also point out everything that's kind of wrong with the game and they still give it a thumbs up anyway. Uh, I tried playing this briefly before I started recording uh, just because I wanted to get a sense of how this one felt. Uh, because there's no controller support, for one thing, and I'm not a big fan of third-person games without controllers. Uh, I don't like mousy keyboard for third-person stuff so much, especially not a game that's been compared to Dark Souls, although every game these days is compared to Dark Souls, although this one especially was. It's more comparable to Dynasty Warriors, if anything, except not as good as Dynasty Warriors, and, and that can be a huge insult or not saying too much, depending on what you think of Dynasty Warriors. Obviously, I'm a, a fan of Dynasty Warriors. Uh, but anyway, I'll just say it compares unfavorably to that. Here we go. You're a cat, and you are fighting turkeys. That's the basic premise. Visually, the game itself has some... What, was, what, what I would call interesting art direction. Uh, but a lot of it feels unfinished. This isn't an early access game. Uh, unless I forgot it, but I'm fairly certain it's not an early access game, but you look at this, this opening cutscene with, like, this looks like placeholder art. Uh, the game's controller support right now, you know, non-existent, even though it says uh, it's got a controller option in the menu, which implies that, you know, something's broken with controller support. Uh, and the gameplay itself is, well, it's rough. I'll say that much. I mean, a screen like this with this kind of basic font at the bottom, like this does not look like a, a finished product. And when you play it, you feel like there's a lot missing. There's a lot of stuff that, that should be there that isn't. And we've, we've come up across this before, a game that isn't being released as early access, but still feels like an early access game. And because Steam updating is easy enough to do, they are, you know, there's every chance that the developer will just start updating it and upgrading it. The The lines between what is early access and what is a game that's released but still a work in progress, it's a, it's a rough line. Very blurry these days. So at some point, here we go, the Turkeys are going to start turning up. Like I said, I like the, the art design. These big medieval looking Turkeys make for interesting enemies. Oh, here we go. In terms of defense, there's not a lot. You get a roll, that's about it. Plus the enemies really start coming in thick and fast very quickly. In terms of basic melee combat, this is about it. You want to get these ones, these red turkeys. Reminds me a lot of that, what was it called? Goth? I forget what it was called. It's a line of toys that got kickstarted. That it was a, a whole bunch of anthropomorphic birds with armor and swords and things. I've got one of them. A fan very kindly sent me one once. It's a, a big bipedal crow. They actually had a, a chicken as one of their characters. Big night chicken. It's kind of interesting. But that's what the turkeys remind me of anyway. This is actually going a lot better than it did when I played this last. Normally, the turkeys spawn a lot more than that. Like, this room becomes almost fucking full. But the game's been quite liberal about them, so we're actually doing okay. Not even taking any damage. There are other skills, other things you can do. If I hold the right mouse button, we go into a ranged mode. We can fire daggers. We've got ten of those. We can also put down mouse traps, which deal damage. Look at this, a whole weapon room. Where are the turkeys? This is actually unusual. Like, there should be loads of them by now. Like, loads. But they don't seem to be spawning, and I'm going to be fine with that, because I've got to go fight the... There's a big armoured turkey around the corner. I'm sure more turkeys will start spawning in a second now. But we're going to try and fight this big one over here. Pfft. Well, that was uneventful. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, we'll put down a mouse trap. There we go. Now you can do a strafe. We go into strafe mode like this, but it doesn't really block or anything. There's no blocking, which is, you know, one reason why the Dark Souls references don't really work too much. We'll press Q though, do our special raw move. It'll just let us get some free hits on this thing. Oh shit, here we go. Here's where things start getting a little interesting. The reviews are pointing this out as well. Eventually you just seem to get overwhelmed. <laughs> One benefit is that enemy magic has friendly fire on it. Oh shit, well that didn't get big boy. That did. Yep, never done this well. But things are starting to get a little bit shit for us. I mean, this so far seems to be the game. You're just dealing with a lot of... A lot of bad turkey boys. Yeah. Yeah, he's basically being thoroughly overwhelmed at this point. And so far that's been my entire experience with the game. Health, as far as I tell, regenerates, I think, but at a really, really slow pace. But we can buy certain things. I'll show that off before I get well and truly mullered, which is going to happen. Uh, okay, never actually been around here. This is a new little area for me. But yeah, with no targeting, no blocking, and just very, very mindless hack and slash. I mean, like, sub-Dynasty Warriors level hack and slash, it's, it's a rough one. You know, I've been in situations as well with this where there are so many enemies on the screen. That dash never works. So many enemies on the screen, I couldn't even move without just getting hacked to death. And it's a bit of a shame because there's there's real potential with this. Uh, for sure. Oh fuck, we got the beholder and our health went up. That's cool. Happy with that. Now from what I know... Let's get away from all these turkeys. From what I know, that opens up some inaccessible areas. These, I think. Defeat key holder to open. Oh, I thought that was the key holder. Well, what the hell opened then? Ugh. Let's just chew our way through here. Yeah, I mean, like, I want it to be good. I like the the design, as I've said, and. You know, I like hack and slash games. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a fan of Dynasty Warriors, you'll know that. But right now, it's just too, too slapdash. Too slapdash a product to thoroughly entertain. Let's get rid of this fucker. All right, well, that's, that's all those turkeys done anyway. So what's next? Defeat key hold. I mean, I thought that was a key holder. Apparently not. Hopefully something's opened up somewhere. Okay. Do they get a daggers back? Not that I find them particularly useful. Well, I'm, I'm starting to wonder now, because one of the times I attempted... I, I, I basically tried to play this twice before I did the recording. Uh, the second time I tried, the camera stopped working, which made the game a lot more annoying to play. Now I'm starting to worry that the game's a bit balked. Oh, there's another one. Okay, maybe not then. 
But we gotta do all that again. I don't think we're gonna survive a second time. If I'm perfectly honest. I like this music though, that's fun. I mean, that's basically the best we've got, is I've just got to keep dropping those mouse traps until it's dead. Like that, because the mouse trap makes it stumble like that, which stops it attacking, which is obviously good. Okay, we can do our thingy again. All right. That's another one down. wasn't too bad. So long as you've got enough mouse traps, those big armoured key holder things aren't too shabby. Look at that one! That turkey can block! Fucking asshole. Ah, I should have seen that magic attack coming. Oh, just going for another. Oh, this is definitely the best I've done so far. Blocking again! I said I don't get to block. I, I looked up the key bindings and everything. The best I get is this shitty little roll. Ah, there, it's getting on my fucking nipples, that one was. Ugh. Alright, come on. Hurry up and die. Right. Oh god, there's another one. The turkeys don't stop, folks. We have a lot of fun playing these video games together, don't we gang? But the turkeys don't stop. And at some point you've just got to say enough is enough, turkey boy. Okay. So I just guess we got to find which which door opened up this time. That appears to be the... There we are. 20. 20 mouse traps. That's enough to keep one going. At least in terms of survivability in the game. I'm going to need something else to keep me going as far as just not getting bored and stopping playing. And it ain't going to be in this room because these are just barrels and boxes. Not exciting. I'm off. all the way we came. God, even this music is a bit Dynasty Warriors-ish. At least since they lessened the effect of the hair metal they use. They've put a lot more of this type of music in Dynasty Warriors, which is alright, but... Alright, this is a new area. This one opened up, and there he is. There's our key friend. We'll get this bad, bad turkey boy. That's, that's how you do it. You drop enough of these, it's practically cheating. There we are. Didn't get a fucking look in. I only took a couple of uh, mouse traps as well. But I'm gonna drop another one just cause these ones are pissing me off. Not much range on it, unfortunately. You, you fucker egg. Some of that, bad, bad turkey boy. Right. Ugh, I am bored now. I mean, that it feels like it shot its beans immediately. It's an outside, but that's not, not hugely exciting. In fact, it's not just a big empty space, isn't it? Maybe there's an exit. Maybe if we're lucky. And it's the blue one I want. There's another one of those, though. Yeah, we've got another one of them. Buff! Yeah, that's it. Suck my beans! Oh wow, this actually sucks. This is this is a lot of a lot of turkeys. It's a bad time that we're having now. Okay. Oh, 
Hey. Do that. Lion's Roar, that's what that's called, by the way, if you didn't know. Jesus Christ! This is... This is an embarrassment of turkeys. Oh god, yeah. Officially cannot move now. We'll drop that down though. Oh god, they close ranks almost as soon as I fucking break them. Fuck me! These last three straggling turk four, sorry, last four stra five straggling tur six stra seven straggling turkeys are almost an insult to injury. Eight now. Fuck me. Oh my word. And of course the difference between this and Dynasty Warriors is in Dynasty Warriors, a lot of these would be just cannon fodder to make you feel powerful and cool and with it. Whereas this, it's this is just a war of attrition I can't win. That's too many turkeys. I mean, that's about all we've got for daggers. So we can't exactly serious Sam this situation. Nah, fuck it. I'm just gonna make our last stand. We will die, but I was bored anyway. And we might as well go out glorious. So this last desperate stand on the stairs here. It's a very exciting, dramatic moment. Interesting that the moment I did decide to give up, the game got a lot easier for me. I mean, there's not much left now. We actually chewed our whole way through that. Oh my god, come on. I'm still going, by the way. Here we are, look. Turkey's done. Okay. I guess I'll search around here for another potential route. I mean, there might have been a way in that other door, that other section beyond the courtyard. Because at this point, it's, uh... I don't know, there's a lot of... Get out of my way, Turkey. There's a lot of other closed off routes, it's becoming a bit of a sprawl, this level design. Oh, get out of my way, turkeys. I'll run back to the courtyard and see what's up. But it's not a it's not a great sign for a game when level one, I'm assuming this is there are other levels or not? I don't know. But it's a bad look when you're not even close to death right now, but you're hoping that you just get killed in the game so you don't have to play it anymore. Like, I'm, I'm gonna eventually just get bored and turn it off. And that's not a great first impression. Here we go, there's a stairwell. I'm not even gonna bother spending money on the daggers, I find them useless. No, yeah, you'll make us go the long way around, won't you? That's very good of you. The game's already struggling to retain my attention, but it's making me run a long way around this bare corridor. Which, to be honest, is better than a corridor full of turkeys. This is more of a landing than a corridor, if we're being honest with ourselves. Oh, this has led to one turkey! <laughs> Which is somewhat comical, considering the game's previous abundance of turkeys and how this was a really long lead up to nothing. Okay, should be something in here though, surely. Yep, I can see another key holder. We're getting some sense of appreciable progress. So, just gonna spam these mouse traps again. Should be a nice, easy one, cause the turkeys are, they're not coming out in huge numbers right now. That would be fun to hear that voice, to hear the the key holders telling the other turkeys that their ancestors were dinosaurs. Find kind of fun. Oh good, our health's back up again. How exciting. Hooray. 
I'm done. This this is boring the piss out of me. I'll see you later. Actually, I'll just let myself get. Might as well have some sense of closure to the game. Alright, there's our closure. 